Hey guys, it's Felicia again. I am back and today I'm going to be doing a fresh skin, uh, natural look makeup. More for summer because in the summertime you don't really like to put a lot on your skin or just for the people that don't really like wearing makeup to begin with. So stay tuned if you want to see how to make this fresh face look. Mwah. Can you watch the show? Okay guys, so in order to achieve a really natural, fresh uh, day look, I'm gonna start by kind of manipulating my skin in areas. And a little bit of the medium light full C from MAC Cosmetics. And I'm using my fingers because I really want to work the product into my skin. Not so much create a whole bunch of coverage, but just like light washes and coverage all over my face. So now that I have the tinted cream all on my face, I'm gonna go into certain areas that need a little bit of extra love, so any blemishes, maybe a little bit back onto my dark circles here. And I'm gonna use a duo fiber brush to just really press that product into my skin. So I'm using an NC25 in the Studio Finish um, Concealer Duo. So dirty because I like had this for so long. I'm taking the yellow with the duo fiber brush. And I'm just slightly brushing that product in those areas and then tapping it in with my fingers. Very light washes. And the cool thing about this product is it's very, um, very, very creamy, so it really blends right into the skin. So now that I have my um, tinted cream on and my concealer, I am now I'm gonna start my brows. I'm gonna be using the 263 um, MAC Cosmetic Angle Brush, it's a synthetic. So the only thing that's different about the 263 compared to any of the other MAC brushes that they do have is that it's synthetic. So I just find that with synthetic brushes, it picks up products a little bit easier and gives you more of a straight or feathery um, line. Whereas like the mixed fiber ones or the ones with real hair, it's not as um, shaped, it's more like diffuse online. But I mean, to each his own, some people like that and some people don't, so. I'm just combing quickly through my brows here. I'm combing up. And this part is kind of important because in order to keep a very natural kind of look, we want to make sure we're going with the way our hair follicles are growing. So I'm just going to start by doing little feathery strokes upwards following that natural growth. So next, I am going to do a quick eye, super simple eye, and then we'll work on the rest of the skin. Um, today I'm going to be using Sweet Heat Extra Dimension Shadow from MAC Cosmetics.
So I'm just using a little paddle brush and just tapping it all over the lid. Like you could almost just use this one on its own. The second part will be totally optional. And I'm almost just kind of winging it out a bit. I want it to kind of extend. So now I'm taking the 221 MAC brush. Um, this is our new blending brush. It is absolutely amazing. Just like the face one that I showed in my last video, it gives you such diffuse lines without having to really put in the effort. So I'm taking soft brown and I'm just gonna put it in the crease. I'm gonna just start by powdering my skin lightly. I don't want to add too much. I'm just gonna use Max Mystery Powder. And I'm gonna go in with the Kelly Osborne Kabuki brush. So I'm just gonna buff it in right at the bottom here. So maybe a little bit on my mouth area and a little bit at the top. doing very, very, very soft-handed circular motions. Very, very soft. See, I'm just going circular motions and then bringing it up. And again, I'm just doing very, very soft circular motions and when I put the brush into the product, I barely touched it with the brush. So now that we have our, con um, our bronzer on, we just did a really, really slight application. I'm just gonna hit my skin with a little bit of a luminizer. Um, you can choose whichever one you want. I'm using a baked mineralized one. I'm going in with more of a peachy tone just to kind of powder underneath my eyes. Same on the other. And then I'm just gonna take more of like a white highlighter color and just kind of tap it at the top of my cheeks, literally where the sun would naturally hit my skin. I'm not really bringing it anywhere else, I'm just putting it. And now, top this off with my new favorite blush of the week, which is Kelly Osborne's Cheeky Bugger. So keeping it really fresh and light and Just 
going to wrap up this beautiful look and I'm gonna pop on a matte huggable lip color in Love Beam. So the reason why I chose this color, I know it looks super bright, but when it goes on, it's almost like a tint. So it's like a jelly, lip balmy lip color. And I'm just literally gonna tap it right in the centers of my lips here. It's a really natural wash of color. I'm just gonna finish up this look by spraying my Fix Plus spray all over. This is so, so important for this look because we want all of this makeup to really just settle into the skin. Okay, so anyways, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and thank you again for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'll see you next time. Mwah.